troubleshooting aspect actually isn't as bad as maybe I made it seem. Uh, <laughs> Thank it, you for clarifying yeah, that. I appreciate yeah, that. <laughs> actually, when it comes to the troubleshooting, what's so great about Citizen, it almost never crashes unless it's uh, a machine operator. And you uh, wouldn't do that. Fault. No, not at all. I take care of this. It's really <laughs> you know, a really good machine. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to MTD CNC. We always appreciate your valuable time. It's the one thing we can never get back. And today we're talking Citizen with my buddy Ryan. Now, we often speak about its flexibility, its precision. The need for precision is so important when you're making parts that are smaller than you can almost see on your fingertips. But that's Ryan's job, and he's got really great eyes. Thank goodness for that. So Ryan, let's talk about Citizen. Let's talk about how it benefits you. Let's talk about how it benefits Thor Labs, which I think is important yeah, as absolutely. you continue to grow and make some really precise art and, and, and small products as well. Oh, yeah. So. Uh Citizen's a great machine. It really benefits me and makes my job a lot easier and more efficient. It's very reliable, especially when we're making parts like this. And I can give you a good perspective of the size of the I love here. when you do because they're tiny. Or the crowd here. I don't know if you're going to even be able to see it. It's about 78 thousandths of an inch. It's about the diameter of that screw. So we have to turn down the screw from 136 thousandths to 78,000, it's gotta be really efficient to keep it straight. So Citizen really allows me to achieve that and let it run and efficient. It makes my job so much easier to be able to get a lot of production job uh, done for Thor Lab, so. Yeah, that's a great way to start the conversation. I see a bar feed on the back as well. So obviously you're trying to run as regularly through the night as possible. But I wanna talk about the inside of Citizen when you're talking about the precision and the need to move quickly. Yeah, now absolutely. the inside is zipping around and it's kind of got that area of space which allows pieces to do what they need to do inside making their cuts in a really quick way without much downtime in between changes of the area, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's great. So it's running uh, two programs uh, simultaneously backside. You have a front side uh, with the spindle and guide bushing and then you with the precision tools that are coming down and to the front of the piece and then you have a sub spindle which is doing the backside of the screw. And it's able to run really efficient at both times. And then once the backside's done, it drops it down into the chute. And then from the chute, we're able to check our pieces and keep it going or make adjustments on the fly. So it's really, really beneficial to how fast and efficient and the way it allows everything to, to work together at a quick speed quick speed so it's very good you know i'm starting to think this isn't your first interview ryan you're too good at this you're ready for the camera and i like that very much so i'm looking around and i see several of these machines and i believe you even have more machines in another building so it's obvious to me i'm going to play the captain obvious role right sure. now but i have to do it anyway and that is you must like them because you're continuing to invest in them and they're growing like a chia pet or, or you know, your water, like gremlins even. Yeah, yeah. You water them and they're growing, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you're enjoying this, this, this machine and it's helping you do what you need to do here? Oh, absolutely. Since I started with Door Labs, uh, they invest really uh, well into the shop. I think we've been getting about three to four a year. Um, I think we have about 13 to 14 total. Uh, we have three right here and they're all citizen and they work really well. The, even the older ones that are, you know, roughly eight years old still real, run really efficiently. Little minor troubleshooting, and but that's what's so beneficial about this one. There's really no troubleshooting uh, as much as the older ones. But Citizen runs really, really well, really efficient, and that's why we keep investing into them. And I'm sure Thor Labs is going to keep investing into them as much as possible to keep our production going through as fast as possible. From what I hear on the growth of this place, Ryan, you're definitely going to be buying some more machines. Yeah, I believe so. As you're, yeah. you're in double digits almost every year with yep. machine investment. Now, you mentioned there is some troubleshooting. I like to touch on that because I know Allendale is a great partner of yours. And Allendale, the way they do business, they like to take you guys in as family. So when there is troubleshooting of some sort, how is the service and support from Allendale for that? So that's been also really, really, really helpful to us as well. The troubleshooting aspect actually isn't as bad as maybe I made it seem. Uh, <laughs> Thank it, you for clarifying yeah, that. I appreciate that. that. <laughs> actually, when it comes to the troubleshooting, what's so great about Citizen, it almost never crashes unless it's uh, a machine operator. And you uh, wouldn't do that. Fault. No, not at all. I take care of this. Really, <laughs> you know, a really good machine. Uh, we name them, you know. So, but uh, overall, the troubleshooting aspect of it does allow you to quickly get the machine back to running because it stops it from doing a lot of damage. As it has a lot of safety features to it and uh, a lot of uh, features that will allow uh, the machine to stay intact and then fix whatever needs to be done. Sometimes it could be the length of the bar. It might have some minor taper to it. 
uh, has, has trouble getting through, something along those lines, or maybe a tool breaks, but if a tool breaks, what's so beneficial about Citizen is it has what's called a tool bit alarm that will land right on the stock and nothing breaks and it stops the machine, identifies the problem right away, and then I'm able to fix it and get it started right again. So it's, it's really good. And yeah. then as far as the service from Allendale, uh, they have two great guys, Tony and Bill, that uh, built really good rapport with. They're really fast and efficient, very knowledgeable, and I learn something every time they're here. So it's really good. So Yeah, I like that you close with that way to make sure that we give a little shout out to Allendale, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I also want to kind of talk about the vision system you just mentioned because you're running small parts. Yeah. And we're not going to hear a big bang if something just barely breaks off, are we? But we're going to have bad parts over and over again. And I see a bar feed as well, which yeah. means you're constantly trying to run automation. So two things is, one, that vision system must be incredibly important yeah, on a, a special occasions when you're either setting up or making sure that it's running through the nights when you're not around. And the second thing is the importance of automation as a whole here at Thor Labs. What does that mean to you guys in this turning center that we're looking at here? So I look at automation as a work smarter, not harder, right? So it allows our jobs to be more efficient while we can trust the machine to run and get other production done at the same time. Um, as far as uh, the machine crashing, yeah, you wouldn't hear something really small break off. Unless you've been doing it for a long time, I might be able to hear a little bit of it. But once you consistently have a bad part, then you wonder what's going on, and then we end up losing stock and production. So what's beneficial about it is that, that it stops it before it gets to that point. And that's what's the most efficient thing about uh, when it comes to the troubleshooting aspect of it. So overall, the machine is great and fantastic when it comes to making sure that the small precision parts are getting done in a timely manner and that there isn't any hiccups to, to that production. So before you take my job, because you're so good at this, <laughs> uh, I'm going to let you off the hook with just kind of for the audience out there who's looking into whatever center it might be. We're talking Swiss machining right now, turning centers in general. Would you recommend a citizen for a potential customer out there? I would absolutely recommend a citizen for a potential customer out there. Uh, and a little backstory about myself. I have uh, quite a few years in machining. I started on the milling side, but then I came to the turning side as well. And uh, just to learn the citizen in a short amount of time and have some good trainers. But on top of that, the citizen makes it very beneficial and easy to learn. Uh, well, I want to say easy, but it makes it, um, uh, let's say, efficient to learn right away and to keep learning more and more as you go. And uh, it's a very useful piece of equipment. I would definitely recommend it for another shop. It's really helped me grow and really uh, allowing my career to even grow further just because of citizens, because it's easier to learn on. It's a different style of programming, but it's very straightforward and uh, allows you to gain knowledge very quickly. And Ryan, then, you, my friend, are the man. <laughs> you are now home for the hot seat. Thank you so much yep, for no your problem. time. And like we started this out, bringing it full circle. Thank you for your time as well. And I'd like to thank you too.